this is Jeff Harvey from Down Under Visa. We are Australian registered migration agents here in the Philippines, Manila, and we specialise in doing visas for couples. This is Australians who are involved with, married with, living with, etc. Primarily, uh, we deal with ladies from the Philippines. We've been based here for the last 15 years, um, but we also do partner visas and tourist visas, child visas, etc. We do for those who are involved with ladies from Thailand and from Vietnam and from Cambodia. Now, if you are interested in what we have to say here, then please do a free assessment. Cost you nothing, take you five minutes. Uh, you'll see the details at the end and uh, we'll have a look at your case and we will give you an honest assessment as to whether we can help you or not. Uh, we're always painfully honest, we're well known for that. Um, if we can help you, we'll tell you, we'll tell you how we can help you, tell you what the costs are, approximately how long it will take, etc. Okay? So, please enjoy. Okay, we're going to talk about partner visas. Now, I'm ending on this in some other videos, but uh, firstly, we'll just talk about partner visas in general. So, this will, excuse me, this will apply for all partner visa applications. Now, a partner visa is for somebody who has made that commitment. Okay, this is when, yeah, you, you're not, This there are no try before you buy visas. I suppose the closest to that is a tourist visa. If, if you're not committed to each other, then you look at you visiting her or her visiting you on, on a tourist visa. That's what that's for. You cannot be together for a year or several years and then on a visa and then and then see if you are happy with each other that's you get that sorted out beforehand okay so sort that out but then it, you come to me for a partner visa when you have decided that you can't stand being apart from each other sometimes people ask me i'll say look are you happy for her to come and visit you stay for three months and then at the end of three months she gets on the plane she goes back are you okay about that if you say I'm okay about that, well then fine, stick to tourist visas. But the day when you are thinking to yourself, I, I cannot stand the idea of plonking her on a plane and sending her back and then going home to my empty house and my empty bed and lying there feeling horribly lonely with an ache in your chest and, and saying I, I cannot stand this. This is when you log out a partner visa. Okay, so you've already made that commitment. Come to us and get an assessment if, if this is the stage you, you are at. So, the partner visas require commitment, so you need to be either either married, or in the case of a prospective marriage visa, which is a fiancé visa, you are going to get married, not maybe get married sometime in the future or somewhere down the track. I, I don't come to me saying, Oh, I don't want to get married because the government told me to. Look, this is the government, this is visas. They're not rights, they are grants. Uh, they say jump in the air, we say how high, sir. They are not interested in whether you have philosophical issues about marriage or, or not. Your options are for a fiancé visa, you've got to be ready to get married and ready to get married fairly soon. Uh, for any of the partner visas, the actual solid bang on partner visas, you need to be either married already or you need to be in a genuine committed de facto relationship which means you're already committed to one another, you're leading a shared life. It's like you've been married, it's, sorry, it's like you're already married but without the wedding certificate. All right? it's, it means you've set up house together, you share everything, you trust, every, uh, you trust each other on everything. You know, if you're saying, oh gosh, no, I don't even know, we keep our everything separate and, you know, what if, you know, she steals my money and sends it to her family or something, well, you, you're, not in a, you're not in a committed de facto relationship. It means that. It means a shared life relationship where you are living and seeing each other as being us and not her and me. You know, it is us, it's our, it's our house, it's our money, it's our expenses. We went and we purchased a new coffee table for our house. 
that's a de facto relationship. And look, it's exactly the same with a married relationship. It's just that they will accept de facto relationships and they put them on the same level as being married. So, and look, this also applies if, um, if either one or both of you are still legally married to somebody else, but you are absolutely separated from them, you are no longer in a relationship with that other person. So you can't be, you know, you can't be still, you know, living with your wife and then saying, oh, but I'm also in a de facto relationship with her. No, it means that relationship is over and you have an exclusive one-on-one -on -one relationship with each other. But so what it means is if she is still legally married and uh, trying to get an annulment in the Philippines, which can be a long drawn out process, sometimes takes years, but you can show that you have been in a de facto relationship for 12 months or more, or they can be shortened, but we won't cover that here. Uh, it just depends if you have a registered relationship, but I, I won't cover that here. But anyway, that's, that's the basis of a partner visa. So if this is you, if you are absolutely committed to each other and, and you want to stay together, well then you come and talk, you come and talk to us about a partner visa. You'll see the link at the end which is for to get an assessment. So please get an assessment and we'll tell you, we'll look at your situation, we'll tell you if you've got a strong case or not um, and we'll give you your options and costs and everything else. Okay, so next video is you look at the, you look at the options, onshore partner visa, offshore partner visa or prospective marriage visa. Those are your options. Okay, thank you.